All right, so before we get in and start to create Microsoft Word forms, I want to give you a brief preview into what we're going to create. And this is going to kind of introduce you into what are Microsoft Word forms all about and how do you work with them. So open in front of you, I've got the completed version of the form that we're going to create together over the next couple of videos. Uh, it, it's called 19A Word Form Completed. And I'll put this inside of this lecture. You can download it. You can open it up and play around with it, whatever you like to do with it. But it's just an example of what you're going to build. So I've, I've placed a little bit of text in here. I've got this make-believe company party that we're all invited to. So I'm asking you, please take a quick moment, complete the form for the upcoming company party. Thank you. Now, within here, I've got a table. And it's just a word table. We talked about tables in an earlier video. And I'm just using the table here to help me lay out the form itself. It's got two columns. First column is really just reserved for labels. And the second column is where the user is going to be entering their data or making selections based on the form controls that I've given them. And then the last little bit, hey, just some more text here. After completing the form, please email a copy to the department's manager. Now, there's really a couple different phases of the form. The first phase, or really the first step, is all about you in creating the form. And that's what we're going to go through and do. We're going to create this form. We'll talk about having the table in there and adding the labels and adding the controls and so on. The second part of the form is you want to be able to send this out for people to fill out. Now, before you send it out through email or throw it up on the network drive or whatever you do with it, you're going to want to protect the form. And really what I want to protect here is I want to protect it so that people don't change stuff about the form, meaning they don't change stuff about this up above or the labels or any of that. All I want them to focus on and to do within this form is to fill out the form itself. Okay? So you create the form. And then you send it out. But before you send it out, you protect it. Now, in the next section within this course, we're going to talk about Microsoft Word document protection. So we're going to break this across two sections. We'll talk about creating the form and interacting with the form here. But we'll talk about protecting the form before you send it out in the next section. OK, so remember those, those two different phases are kind of two different steps there. Create it, then protect it, and send it out. All right. So here I got the form. This is final. I could jump right in, drop in my name, Kyle Pugh. I can come down here to the department. I got a nice little drop down control where I can select a department, part of training. Let's do a large t shirt. Uh, my meal preference, I'm going to go for chicken. Got a little check mark inside of here. Yes, I'm going to bring a guest. And I can leave some additional notes or comments if I'd like to. Uh, Thank you for setting this party up. It should be a blast. Okay. And I got a nice little form. Now I could save this on my computer and then I could attach it to an email, send it off. Like it tells me to send it to my department's manager, you know, do what I like to with it now. But I got a nice little form and I can even take it further and format it and do whatever I want with it. But where we're really going to focus at here is the creation of this section here. Adding the controls, drop down menus, check boxes, radio buttons, whatever it might be, adding those controls so the user can, users can start to fill out your form. So get ready for it. Let's take a look at it. 